I built a newsletter AI agent using Nano Banana and Anaton. This AI agent automatically every day at 5 a.m. sent me a newsletter in my Gmail and the newsletter contained a cover image and all of the trending news on Google based on my selected topic. So the first let me show the demo how this thing really works like and after that I will show you how you can build this AI agent by yourself even if you are completely a beginner and also if you don't want to go with the hot path I also made this thing more simple at the end of the video I'll show you how you can get this exact template completely for free and also how you can set up that and at the last also I'll share with you some very important tips so that you can utilize this AI agent for yourself perfectly right now my agent is not activated so all I have to do is manually push this agent to start by itself so that I'm just going with execute the workflow so here you can see our AI agent started to work and let me say that my selected topic is AI agent startup so in this topic it will obviously give me a newsletter in my gmail so here you can see this ai agent right now working and the best thing is i'm using here the nano banana to generate the cover image and you can see right now it's using the nano banana to generate the image in here and believe me nano banana or you can say gemini 2.5 flash preview is super cool and it said done so let me go to my gmail and to show you the newsletter so yeah that's my gmail you can see just now it sent me the newsletter i just opened that you can see my friends here's the newsletter looks looks like and here's the generated image really mind-blowing isn't it you can see that it actually used nano banana aha just look at this you know this image is really cool i i know that chat gpt open ai don't make this kind of images and all of the things just happen in front of you in just seconds right I didn't cut it any of the parts agent tech AI as I said I choose AI agent startup so that's why 6.7 billion in venture capital that's really cool top startups to watch okay this is the top top startup right now that's really cool so let me show the body how it looks like AI agent startups and uh, today is 7 September and here you can see a simple summary about the newsletter and here are the top AI agent startup newses. So yeah, I can just go with read more. That's how the things they looks like. And also, if I just go with this topic, you can see that's the second one. And you can see that like the websites, the blogs are different. And this is right now top trending on Google. So also I can just go with that. And you can see that that's how the things will looks like. Yeah, you can understand that every day at 5 a.m this ai agent sending newsletter to yourself based on your interested topic and in this beautiful way so it would be really helpful for you isn't it and right now i'll show that how i made this ai agent so that you can get a better understanding of this process so at the first i used a schedule trigger so if you don't have a schedule trigger it worked as like in which time the agent or the automation you made on anaton it will start or it will be activated okay so that's why we use a schedule trigger so if you don't know how to add that all you have to just go with add note okay and from here you have to just go with schedule and then you can see that that's the schedule trigger looks like if you just go with add and then you can actually edit that by yourself okay so what it did in the schedule trigger I used in here the days interval and also the days we doing will be one day because I need to run this every day and also which time I go with 5 a.m. So you can understand right now every day at 5 a.m. This AI agent will be activated. It's meaning it will send me a newsletter. Okay, and then I'm using a searcher. I need that because I need the most trending news on Google or you can say in the internet and for that I'm using here Tavali. So if I just go with double click that's the tabula that it looks like and actually that's a note if we just go with again add note and then just go with tabula okay so all you have to just go with select that and the action section you have to go with search and remember that make sure it have to be installed otherwise you can't use this note for yourself okay and then in this place what i did let me show you that in the place of resources i used a search because it have to go to internet and search for the topic i requested 
in the operation it have to be query and in the query place you have to actually give the topic name it can be multiple topic if you actually give multiple topics make sure just give a comma and then go with multiple topics okay and if you just go with only one topic just give this in my way and as i said i'm looking for or just i selected ai agent startups so i actually used here ai agent startups and also you can select that how many results you want it's mean the top how many results you want i go with five means in the google the top five news it will give me a kind of like this and yeah the time range i go with day also you can just go with week if you go with day it will work for every day like in the day basis which ai agent startup it's really working well it will give me uh, the top five news is kind of like this okay so that's how you can add this thing for yourself and if you don't know how to add tabelly to your annotation that's very important so all you have to do is at the first you can see that i made this thing more easy in the guideline section you have to just go with tabelly and you actually launched in here the tabelly website and then you have to maybe create a first account if you never used tabelly before and in the place of api keys you can see your api key will be here and just copy that and then again just come to tabelly and in the place of credentials you have to just go to create new credential and in the place of api key you actually have to give the api key the, that you copied from the tabelly then go with save and as you can see my uh, tabelly has been added successfully very easy isn't it so then it actually giving me this kind of results so in the right side you can see that uh, for my ai agent startups it actually giving me the top five results and obviously you know that computing system for computer starts from zero so that's why it actually going with zero result zero one two three and the four okay and right now it have to be process obviously it need to because i can get this uh in this way it will be so messy isn't it and also i can't read this properly so that i'm using here a aggregator so the aggregator i'm using here to aggregate all of the data or you can say all the informations that i'm getting from tabelly so that i can use later an ai agent to structure all of the things i get it so the aggregator is very simple you have to add the aggregator and in the place of aggregate you can have to select all item data and then in the place of put data you have to actually give the data name then like which will contain all the data so you can see in the right side data is containing all of the results okay that it's coming from the tabelly and also make sure you actually go with all fields in the include section and yeah right now we are actually combining all the data under one section named as data so we can actually use that easily in ai agent section and that's the ai generally looks like all you have to do is you have to just go with last icon and then go with ai agent and you can see that's the ai agent and if you only just go with that it will be added okay so in the ai agent what it did make sure it actually go with define below section okay in default it actually chooses as connected chat trigger in the place of prompt what it did i'm actually giving all the data i'm getting from aggregate like this okay and obviously it is actually object so it will not work directly if i like show you you can see that it will show like a object like this as you can see it also showing a array and it will not work in this way so what you have to do is you have to make this a json file just go with json then dot then stringify okay then go with first brackets that's it close that you can see right now it's showing as a query as a json and the ai agent right now can handle this very easily otherwise it will show you errors and then also make sure go with a request specific output format in the system message i actually given this system message you are an ai newsletter generator you must only respond in valid json that strictly follows the provided schema do not include explanation extra text or markdown always include at least three new items with title summaries and urls if no relevant news in found return an empty array for news so you can see that what it did i combined all the informations in three news and also i said that like uh, give the most trending three news you can actually change that if you actually go with 10 it will give you 10 news but make sure that you actually searching for maximum 10 results okay otherwise it will not give you 10 news that's how it looks like guys but i'm not getting that very easily 
also i have to use a structure output and also i have to use a brain for that because the ai agent is a system but to run the system we need a brain or you can say an llm which is a large language model you have to use you can use openai gemini dipsic cloud uh, anything which you like okay so you can see that what i did in the place of chat model i used a gemini and if you don't know how to add a gemini okay let me show that what you have to do you can see that it's added and in the model section i used gemini 2.5 pro also you can use gemini 2.5 flash if you use gemini 2.5 pro that will be good and that will be best because maybe if your results are very big very large gemini 2.5 pro will be the best because gemini 2.5 pro's input limitation is almost more than 1 million tokens but if you compare that with openai the uh, maximum token input limitation is i guess 200k or just 150k like this okay so how you can add that okay in this case you have to go with like create new credential and but before that you need to collect your api key for the google gemini so i made this thing again very simple and in the second thing you can see that add gemini just click there add gemini and you will become in your google ai studio then you have to just go with like get api key and in the place of get api key okay so you can see that like that's a look like as you can see i have already tons of projects and tons of api keys so maybe you don't have any you have to just go with create api key then you have to just go with create api key that's it then api key will be given to you make sure you copy that after copying you have to come here again and then in the place of create new credential in the place of api key only you have to give the api key that's it you don't have to just work with the host the host will be automatically added that's how you can add google gemini okay then in the place of tools outputs person i have to use a person here and that's how it looks like it's actually structure output person and it actually using here to give me very structure output it means it will follow this format every time and i need that really because i'm next i'm using html code to make this thing very good looking okay so yeah you can see that's how the uh, code really looks like that's the schema i actually had given the schema in the description if you need that you can use that and also if you use this template what i given completely free in the description okay all you have to do is you have to just click the link and you will be in the gum road uh, in the place of price you have to give zero because that's a free product okay and then you'll actually get a json file make sure you actually download that and after download all you have to do is you have to come in these three dots then you have to go with import from file and then you have to select the file that you downloaded from the gumroad okay and it will be like this and when you just add that maybe you have to just add some uh, basic informations like the tabli like the gemini and also banana banana or you can say google gemini 2.5 flash preview that's really cool okay what you have to do is you have to use open router to add this nano banana to your anaten yeah you listen that right you uh, it will be good if you use open router for that i'll show you that how i added that so let me show you the first uh like the setting then i'll show you how you can add that the method will be post the url is actually this url okay and the authentication is will be pretty different uh, credential type you can also go with like uh send headers and then go with you know authentication is none but i would prefer you to go with predefined credential type because it that's easy to use and also that's very safe then the credential type in here i'm using here open router obviously so that's why just selecting open router in the place of open router you have to actually give the credential like create new credential so when you click create new credential in this place you have to give api key so all you have to do is you have to just go here you can say the third i'll say that like if you want to add your nano banana just go with open router and if you never used open router before you have to just create an account in here and then you can actually just go here then go with keys and in the place of keys you have to just go with create new api key then give a name that's it just a api key will be created copy that api key so again you have to just come here then go with credits in place of credits you have to just go with add credits and just add some balance in here because right now nano banana is not free anymore okay if you want to use that as an api key so what i'm doing here in the place of nano banana here i can show you that just go create new credential the api you created just give this thing in here then just go with save 
it will be added automatically then just go with like sand body in the place of sand body as you can see i choose json then specify using json and again i'm using a, a json code in here you can see that's what it look like and what i did in the place of text which is actually the prompt of the image i'm actually giving the prompt i'm getting from the ai agent like this very simple to use okay and you can see it actually giving me output like this and this is actually the image and the image is in basics for url so that's you can see the url is very long and it's really 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 wrong okay so i have to actually convert that to a image uh, i can actually use a edit field and also i can use a uh, you know basics for converted to a binary file okay if i want to convert that to a binary file or a binary image in my in this case i don't need that because i'm actually using a direct html code so that uh, it will be easy for me okay you can actually get the gmail node by using add node then go with gmail okay then just go gmail and in here you have to just go with send a message okay then it will be added so what i'm doing here very simple so in the place of credential make sure you add it your gmail account and if you didn't add it yet so what i have to do is go with create new credential then go with sign in at google and give allow to annotate to use your gmail that's it very simple don't you have to just go with the api stuff okay the resources will be message the operation will be sent so it will be actually the receiver email address okay so the subject in here i'm actually using this json code and also that's of the staff newsletter then the topic of the newsletter then that's the date of today or the you can say now the date what it is so in the place of email type i used html because i'm actually giving a very long html code you can see that that's the html code that looks like all the stuff i added in here okay so you don't have to do anything you don't have to uh, even you don't have to edit these things okay if you use this exact template you're ready to go you don't have to be panicked okay so that's what it look like and let me just go and kind of like save that and i'll just use that thing again in front of you but in the place of search i'll just go with annotate instead of going with ai agent startups so let me see that what's the trending news of annotate so then i just go with execute workflow so right now as you can see our ai agent started to work it actually get all the informations based on my topic which was annotate from google and it used ai agent and also right now it using image prompt maker to actually make a prompt for the image and by using nano banana it actually generating the image that's super cool and soon we will actually get the gmail okay or you can say the newsletter okay that's fine in some seconds it actually gave me the newsletter let me just open my email okay that's the email i used to get the newsletter so you can see that there's the newsletter in here newsletter and attend there's a date really cool so let me just kind of like open that oh that's really cool that's really cool okay this is the image it really made it absolutely crazy it was ai automation blueprint github optimization community integrations and that's the simple summary of this newsletter and that's all the stuff so you can see if i go to read more i can read more and if you're new in this channel make sure to give a like and subscribe to the channel inshallah you'll find more values especially in the fields of ai agent ai automations you know it's kind of like these things are growing so well and i hope and also believe that inshallah this channel will help you a lot for a long run and if you are a business owner and you want to add this kind of ai agent or automation in your business and if you need help on this thing you can book a meeting with me i've given the link in the description so yeah that's it guys have a nice day peace